Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the walk. Today is Friday, December 8th, and yesterday we left off in a Lamentations 3 with verse 57, where the Lord responded and said, Do not fear. When you're in that dark place, you do not need to fear because the Lord's got you. And the more you draw in, the, the closer you get, the more you're going to grow, the more that exercise, that, that faith muscle is going to be exercised, the more you're going to be equipped for whatever is on the other side of that darkness. Because God is growing you in that darkness to bring you out into some kind of a calling. In verse 58, it says, You have taken up my cause, O Lord. You have redeemed my life. You have seen the wrong done to me, O Lord. Judge my cause. You have seen all their vengeance and their, all their plots against me. So what is he saying here? He's saying, Lord, you understand my situation. You know what's happening and you've already paid the price for me. You've seen what's happened to me and you're, you're, you're judging my... Um, my situation. You have seen that people are ha having vengeance against us, that Satan's got vengeance against us. And then in verse 61, it says, you have heard their taunts, O Lord, all their plots against me. The lips and thoughts of my assailants are among me all the day long. Behold, they're sitting and they're rising. I am the object of their taunts. That could be demonic taunts. That could be things that are coming from Satan. That could be um, any kind of oh, persecution that you're going through, all of that would fit into that part. And that can also have you feeling like you're in a dark place. You will repay them, O Lord, according to the work of their hands. You will give them dullness of heart. You will curse, your curse will be on them. You will pursue them in anger and destroy them from under your heavens, O Lord. Here's the interesting thing. Who's doing the fighting there? It's our Lord. It's our Lord and Savior. So how do we stay suited up for this battle when we're in this darkness? We keep the helmet of salvation on our head. We are aware of what God has said. We claim those promises. We're praying those promises and we're calling out that Satan has no authority. Only God has authority. We've got the belt of truth right around the middle of our body. We're staying that, we're keeping that truth right in its place and remembering to lean on that truth throughout that dark time. We've got that breastplate of righteousness. We're remembering that we don't have to earn our own righteousness. Our righteousness comes from our relationship with Jesus Christ. We've got that shield of faith. That faith is bouncing those darts straight off of us over and over and over again. And Satan cannot hit us because our faith shields us from those fiery darts. And we've got our feet fitted with the readiness of the gospel. Even in that dark place, we are ready to serve, ready to tell people about who Jesus is and what he's done in our life. And lastly, we've got that sword of the spirit. And that means that we are being spirit led. We are drawing closer to the Holy Spirit and we are digging in deep. When you're in that dark place, that's when you spend more time in your Bible. When you're in that dark place, spend more time in prayer and take that time to listen to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Today is Friday, so I'm going to remind you there's no video tomorrow. I will be back with you on Sunday. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.